Hey Stampers, good morning. This is Linda Goldhurst from Snowberry Stampers. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I am going to show you the four projects I've created for the Happy Hedgehogs product spotlight. So in this kit, you're getting the stamp set, you're getting the punch, you're getting a roll of linen thread, half a pack of Settles DSP, and half a pack of Settles cardstock. So let's get started with card number one. All right. This is the cute card. And in this card, you're going to be doing some masking. So let me show you how this card goes together. All right. You've got a Whisper White card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And you've got a piece of pear pizzazz cardstock and then two pieces of DSP. And this DSP is from the Subtles. And we're going to go ahead and adhere the blue layer to the top of the green cardstock. And then the green towards the bottom. You could use either pattern, either side, whatever makes you happy. All right, so that's the base. And then you have two pieces of white crinkle seam binding. And we're just gonna go ahead and glue, the, um, I'm gonna tape that to the back, right over the seam. Okay, let me get this up a little bit there. Don't want you to think I'm in your face. Okay. All right, and then this is going to be tied in a bow all the way over to the side, either side, left or right. Oops. those little legs. It does fray just a little bit. Okay. All right. So that part is done. And then this gets glued directly to the white card base. All right. So now you've got a piece of shimmery white. And the shimmery white is so that we can do a little water painting on here. But before we do that, we're gonna do some masking. So we wanna get the mushrooms on here. And I'm going to stamp the mushrooms in, what am I stamping them in? Because we're coloring with blends, we're going to stamp in Memento. Right. And with masking, the first mushroom you put down is the one that's closest to you. Then to put mushrooms behind that one, you want to mask it off. So just take a, um, a sticky note, stamp your mushroom so that they're sticky on the back of the mushroom. And now we're going to go ahead and stamp and pull off the mask. And the second mushroom is then behind the first. And we just keep on going. And you can stagger them, but they're always going to be behind the one that you just did. Okay, well, that's pretty simple. Then we're gonna color those with blends or you could color them with markers. What you don't wanna do is you don't wanna color these with anything that's water-based because Memento is water-based and then it'll run, okay? So you wanna use either um, 
the markers or you want to use alcohol blends. Okay, you could also use pencils. The background on here is then a watercolor wash. And because it's water, you don't want to get it near the memento. That will then make it run. So you can use, I used um, Pool Party, but you could use Pool Party or you could use Balmy Blue. And we just want to pick up a little bit of ink from the cover. All right. And squeeze out a little bit of water. And we just want to do a little bit of a wash. And make it as dark or as light as you want. And if you don't have a watercolor brush, you can use a paintbrush. And because it's shimmery white, it'll give you a little bit of time. It won't peel and pill like regular uh, white cardstock would do. Okay, so that's that card. The um, hedgehog, you have a separate little piece for the hedgehog. And he was stamped in memento and he was colored in blends on this card. All right. What you could also do, because the punch is a two-step punch, here I stamped him on crumb cake with soft suede ink. And then I stamped him again. And then I just blurred the lines a little bit with a blender pen. And you can then just stick him on top. And he's like a two-step hedgehog. So he has a little bit of dimension there, if you like that look. Okay. All right. He is popped up on dimensionals. The butterflies are popped up on dimensionals. And the greeting is popped up. And then you have a little strip for the inside. Okay. Don't forget your envelope. All right. And... Here, I just, I was playing, and I had stamped the hedgehogs first, masked them off, and then stamped the mushrooms behind by just stamping on top of the mask. Okay? So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. That's it for card number one.